Welcome to the National Library of Wales crowdsourcing website. We would encourage you to use a recent version of a modern web browser such as Firefox or Chrome when contributing to this platform. If you're visiting this site for the first time, you'll need to register by clicking the Sign Up button and following the instructions on the next screen. This will ask for your email, The display name is the name that will appear next to your annotations. You need to provide a password and confirm your password. If you're returning to the site, then you can start working immediately by clicking on Login and entering your email and password. You're now ready to start contributing to the collection. Click on Get Started and scroll down to choose one of the collections. When you've chosen one, click on View Whole Collection. On the next page, you can choose which item you would like to annotate, or if you're returning to the site, you can continue annotating an item that you started working on previously. The colour below the item indicates its status. The small red square and grey bar at the bottom indicates that no one has worked with this image. The orange bar across half of the bottom indicates that work has started on annotating this image but that it has not been completed. If the bar across the bottom of an image is green, then the annotation on this image has been completed. To annotate an item for the first time, click on the image you want to transcribe. Before you can begin working with this document, you will need to choose what type of information you wish to contribute. You can hover on the question marks for guidance. To transcribe, click on Transcribe a Diary Entry. Please transcribe all the text relating to one date in the diary. You can use the plus and minus signs or the wheel on your mouse to scroll in and out of the image. If you're guessing a word, please type the word within square brackets. If a word or words are illegible, please show this by typing within square brackets one illegible word, two illegible words, and so forth. For the date, you can choose the diary entry date from the menus on the calendar. Or, you can override the calendar by typing dates in this format, day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. Once you've finished, Click on Next and then on the red Save button. Please note that your transcription won't be saved until you click this button. If there's more than one diary entry on the page, click on Continue Annotating This Item and repeat the above steps for each diary entry. To highlight a person, click on Highlight a Person. Drag the red box across the image and adjust its size until it fits directly around the name of the person you want to describe. Click Save under the red box. Most of the time, the names will appear across one line. However, if the name crosses over from the end of one line to the next, please draw a box around the first name only, but transcribe the whole name in the text box. If you so wish, you can carry out research on this person and add your findings in the bottom text box. Once you've finished, click on Next and then on the red Save button below the text. You can repeat this for each person that you want to record. Remember, if a name is repeated within the same diary entry, please repeat that transcription. Click on Continue Annotating This Item. To highlight a place, for example, Snowdonia, Nantfrancon, Bala Lake, click on Highlight a Place. 
Move the red box to highlight a place mentioned in the text and press Save. Then enter the information in the text box. The system will offer the place in Google Maps. Click on the correct location. If you're unsure of the exact location, either research this online or do not complete this box. Once you're finished, click on Next and then on the red Save button below the text. You can repeat this for each place name that you want to record by clicking Continue Annotating This Item. Once saved, you can also bookmark the page you've transcribed by clicking the button on the bottom right of the screen. All your bookmark selections can be viewed by clicking on your name in the top right of the page. This is the best way of finding documents that you've previously worked on. Annotations are displayed as thumbnails directly below the image, along with the name of the person that created the annotations. If you finish annotating all the text, persons and places, and you're satisfied that your transcriptions are correct, please click the button on the bottom right of the screen to mark that page as complete. This will change its status to green, mark as complete. Scroll to the carousel at the very bottom of the screen. Here you'll see the status of the page you've just transcribed. And you can also choose the next image you wish to describe. Images that have an orange bar across the bottom have been partially annotated. You may wish to work on this type of image by editing your own annotations and returning to annotate a page that you have already begun working on, or editing annotations that others have started but have not completed. First, you need to click on the image to take you to the annotating page. Below the image, you'll see thumbnails representing annotations that already exist. If you wish to edit one of these, click on the annotation and a new dialog will appear with an edit button. Click on this button to edit the annotation. If you're unable to read the document due to the various annotation boxes covering the text, click the toggle button on the top left of the text page. This will hide these boxes from view. When you've finished editing the entries, click Next and then the red Save button. If you finish annotating the whole item, you can use the button on the bottom right of the screen to mark that page as complete. If you find something inappropriate in the transcriptions and you want to alert us of this, scroll to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on Flag as Inappropriate. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and good luck with the transcription. If you're having any difficulties, feel free to contact us.